my father lives in this house my mother and with my mother and father my brother and my sister who are both younger to me first pudusa utta appo konjam idaachi payana utta pirinjik irukkaram enna appo po po avan padikira nalla padikira appo ellarkum sandosham irukku engalukku sandosham irukku inga vandu english la pesi ungalukku la pesi thappa pathaga engalukku romba sandosham irukku i like my house it's not very comfortable but i know my mom tries to make me feel comfortable over here even though it's small and when i grow up i'll i'll build another house for my mom vaala pudikida ungalukku enna seyirad kashtamana vela da pudikida ana pudichali pudikala nali se kashtapettu da aagun idilla ana ungalku vera edho vaala kodutha na endha vaala panuvinga வேற எதனா வேல குடுதாலும் எந்த வேலனாலும் நான் செய்வேன் என்ன செய்யிறது கள்ளு வரைக்கும் வரிசை மாதிரி கள்ளு தான் ஓடிச்சின்னு நடக்குது இந்தியா இஸ் a country of 1.1 billion people and still a majority of the people are poor below 1 dollar a day 700 million people live in the villages and many of them are in extreme poverty the economic expansion that is currently taking place in india as a result of the it boom and outsourcing and so on has widened the gap between the rich and the poor the challenge that we face today is how do we bring about prosperity to the hundreds of millions of people whose lives are untouched the primary mission of the george foundation is to alleviate poverty in india the issue of poverty is not one of just employment creation and there are no easy solutions to poverty either education healthcare employment ownership of income generating assets social justice gender equality they are all part of the same issue of poverty and we have to address all these things together in order to uh, achieve the desired results Shanti Bhavan is the jewel in the crown of all the projects of the George Foundation. Our children are from homes below the poverty line like uh, rag pickers, quarry laborers, sex workers. They are from conditions that are extreme in their poverty and have been so for generations. Our dream is for our children to be happy, to feel a sense of self-worth, to take their place as productive members of society, to hold their heads high and to certainly lead a better life. I am Kartika and I study in 7th grade. I am 13 years old and uh, I come from Bangalore. My mom works in a quarry. She tries to earn a living by breaking stones. I have spent most of my time in Shanti Bhavan rather than at home. So I feel Shanti Bhavan is like my home and all the aunties and teachers they're just like my parents and they treat me like their own child. letting go of children at such a tender age is heartrending for parents but our parents are actually relieved because they can't feed their children they can't look after them they cannot care for them even if they want to they have absolutely no choice no water no electricity they live under such harsh conditions so they say at least you give our children what we cannot from the children's side they do find it difficult at first but it's surprising how quickly they settle down 
Children handle the blade carefully when you take the cross yes. section of the ovary. I'm dissecting a hibiscus flower and this exercise tells us to dissect each part of the flower like example the epicalyx. Our children have their own aspirations. They want to be astronauts, scientists, engineers, film stars, presidents. We offer a curriculum that caters to the all-round development of the children. Up to the fifth grade, it is a universal uh, primary school curriculum. But when we get into the middle and high school grades, we try to offer a liberal arts curriculum with a focus on math and science. My name is Anit. I study in the eighth grade in Shanti Bhavan. I'm 13 years old. My family, since they're poor, they're living in an urban slum. I have a younger brother and a younger sister. And my daddy is a construction laborer. And my, and my mother, she takes care of my brother and sister at home. My parents are really happy to see me studying well and being brought up in a good school like Shanti Bhavan. My dream is to get into IIT and become a physicist. My favorite part of the day is when I come to the library and I take a book and I start reading the book and get to know new things. We want our children to live in a clean and aesthetic environment uh, because they can learn that there is another way to live. They don't have to constantly be in squalor and overcrowding. I'm Derek. Uh, I've been working as a volunteer at Shanti Bhavan for two months. I'll be here for one more month. As the computer teacher working with the older students, it's uh, particularly exciting because uh, it's, pretty, uh, it's very project-based right now. We're using um, Photoshop to edit images um, and the photographs that we've been collecting. We have a scanner that we've been using to scan some of the uh, art produced by the younger grades. My name is Haley Rogers and I'm from the U.S. and I arrived here about two months ago. I'm a art education major. My name is Davina. Um, I'm from England. Um, I'm a design graduate. We just keep on working on this. When I first came here, I was a little bit nervous to work with the kids, but immediately, the first night I got here, they just surrounded me and said, what is your name and all of this and they were just so excited yeah, that you incredibly were here. welcoming. Yeah. Incredibly welcoming. Made me feel so at home and so welcome here. I feel just like this is part of my family. Are you ready? We teach our children to respect all faiths, but we do not prevent them from following their own faith, which their family or parents or community has given them. Uh, we are not into conversion of any kind, and we try to inculcate universal values, such as 
transparency, forthrightness, honesty, tolerance in our children. Thank you.